Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Pax Humana series. So, we're about to fight this guy. I think our ship has just arrived. So we can combine our fleet here. Let's see how good of a chance we have. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty close. It'll be interesting to watch. Let's choose production uh, on Tantalus 2, first of all. Uh, orbital Shipyard, absolutely. Alright, so I think... Yeah, no moves left. We'll have to let a turn pass before we actually attack that thing. Colonial Revenue Service. Sealox Prime, absolutely. Just thinking in terms of making as much money as I can. Oh, and another cruiser has arrived. Do I have two cruisers here? Or was that a second fleet of some kind? Okay, that's much better. That makes more sense. I guess I got confused somehow. I thought there was a ship down here. Okay, whatever. Um, so next turn, we'll, we'll fight them. Let's go ahead and unload this population on a Callisto Prime. Up to 666. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to attack the... Space monster now? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Um, oh, cool. Alright, so let's upgrade all those blueprints. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can research. Oh, crap. We still need to research this stuff before we can get to electromagnetic refraction. I didn't see that line. So, we're researching robotics now. We're still a few turns away, unfortunately, from being able to travel to some of the more distant systems. Shame. Saul Prime, what do you need? Let's go ahead and build a toxic processor on Saul Prime. Pollution is pretty high. And then how about... Uh, Let's, let's go ahead and do a global DNA scanner on Sea 3, just in case we're being slowly infiltrated. I don't know how those mechanics work, but what does Sea 3 look like now? Pretty decently huge world. Lots of colonization happening. It's pretty basic as far as, <coughs> excuse me, as far as what the, um, what the planets look like. on the surface, but, alright. So let's fight this Joker. Here we go. Gonna fight a space squid. Fight it on the tactical. Look at that cruiser, it's so cool. <laughs> Hello, space squid. It's literally a space squid. Alright then. You guys hang back. Don't engage him until the closer ships get him. There we go. Nice. Did we lose anybody? I didn't lose anybody. Awesome. So we were close to losing people, I think. We'll take a look at how uh, everything did there. Yeah, this friggin' almost died, but... Okay, that went well. I'm happy with that. Hopefully our battles against the, uh... <laughs> our battles against the, uh... Cylon will go just as well. So now we're gonna send this fleet back across... To this side of things. Ooh, a colony ship has arrived. Alright. Alright. I need to have words with you, sir. My time. Okay, so he's not going to listen to us. If that ship settles that colony, we're going to have words. Alright, so Space Factory is done. Need to go ahead and bring the Space Factory back up here to build a military outpost there. Might be time for war with the Cylon. Yep. 
They have done it. They have colonized Vox 2. <laughs> I said Vox 2 and I immediately thought of Independence Day. Eagle 1, Fox 2. Sorry. Random references. Aha! State of the Galaxy, maybe? Nice! So I guess we get a science boost? What does that mean? Did we get something special, though? The Dauntless Guidance System, maybe? Oh, cool. Check that out. So the missiles can actually change course if a ship is destroyed while they're flying towards... Um, well, they're flying towards a destroyed target, so... You know, or if they're flying towards a target that gets blown up, they'll shift and, and request new a new target. So we're going to research Optronics now, which will give us a hollow simulator. This gives overworked populations a chance to experience relaxing and fantastic environments and interactions. Hmm. Fantastic and relaxing indeed. Uh, shield capacitor. Optronic computer. Cool. So increasing um, kind of combat bonuses. Sebasius 2. Let's go ahead and build an advanced data center. Tantalus 2. Colonial Revenue Services. More money, please. Yep, yep, yep. And production on Callisto Prime. Let's see, what do we really need here? How's pollution? Oh, wow. What the heck is going on here? The modifier is awful. Okay, well, looks like we're going to build an atmospheric renewer as quickly as possible. Maybe go ahead and buy it. And then queue up the toxic processor. So we definitely need to fix that situation on Callisto Prime ASAP. All right, so we've got our fleet ready to hit Vox 2. All right, so Sealox Prime probably needs... All right, so yeah, this is the planet that had the issues. I thought we had a atmospheric renewer, or is this having the same problem? Might be having the same issue. Okay, so this is a different planet got mixed up because it was the exact same problem all right callisto prime yeah same thing so this I'm, I'm maybe maybe it's not as dire a problem as i thought maybe it's a bug of some kind I'm not sure why it's showing that it's going to go down by 96 percent next turn or maybe i don't understand what that uh, modifier means but in any case colonial revenue service all right so you sir need to build a military outpost right there Perfect, so now we're going to have military outposts on all corners of the Sebasius system, because that is definitely a, an important system for us. Now, let's build a... This is Sol Prime. We definitely need some more powerful ships. Let's build another cruiser. And at Sea Locks, let's build. Yeah, let's build another cruiser here as well. Just going to start building up uh, our military. And then sooner or later, within the next couple of turns, we're going to start building troop transport so that we can actually fight for control of these uh, planets. It'll be interesting to see how that works. I'm probably just going to destroy the colony on Vox 2. I, I have no interest in colonizing it. Those ships are on the way now. This is our main fleet. We're going to have it take out Vox 2. Actually, I'm going to have it hang out the military outpost here just in case any of them need to upgrade. It's always possible. Mm. Let's go ahead and build a space elevator here just in case we need to start producing ships on this side now that we have enemy empires out that way.
Sabasius Prime. How's your pollution? Okay, better. So maybe a global DNA scanner at Sabasius Prime now. Alright, do you need to upgrade? Yes, you do. Let's upgrade all. Okay, those ships are upgraded. Looks like the cruiser is already completed. Awesome. Let's go ahead and build an advanced data center there. And yeah, I haven't had any major pollution problems, so I'm guessing that was just a, a fluke. What I was looking at earlier with the modifiers being... Oh, no, it still shows. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not going to read into it too much. All right, I'm going to send that ship there. Sol Prime has reached its maximum population limit again. Okay, perfect. So we're going to upgrade all those again, and now it is time to research electromagnetic refraction, which will give us the ability to travel through those other spaces and possibly colonize some awesome planets. We'll see. I would prefer us to engage. Sure. Okay, so the Alkari wanted an embassy. That's good, because they're closest to us, so we can have a, a good relationship with them. Sebasius so too needs... I think I need to start building some, some more ships here. Or maybe what I'll do is just build a colony ship. Um, because we need to start getting ready to look for other worlds as well. So yeah, colony ship on Sebasius too. And then a government support facility here. Increase morale, because morale is only at 70% there. A fleet needs orders. I think we have a scout that's just kind of hanging tight, too, so we need to check for that. All right, so we could attack the Cylon scout here if I wanted to. If I really wanted to hit them hard at the moment, I could definitely hit the, the Cylon scout. But no, I'll be nice. I'm not prepared to go to war with them just yet. This is okay, we have an update here. Let's see how we're doing versus other empires. Hopefully not awful. Okay, so the Cylons are like right at pace with us. We're one point away from the Cylons. So we would definitely be going to war with one of the most advanced races. Uh, if we if we went to war against them. I don't know how many ships they have. That's the next question. So we'll see how it goes. But let's, at Saul Prime, let's go ahead and start building. Yeah, let's start building a troop transport. Need to prepare. All right, so this cruiser has just finished construction. We'll order it to fly to the Vox system. All right, that's done there. Very good. Can you build anything there? Yes, you can. Okay, good to know. So you can build stuff. Oh, this is great. I'm going to build an asteroid lab because we need to beat the Cylons. We need to get ahead of them and research. Okay, good to know. I had no idea. I feel silly now. So all of these, all of these things could potentially have uh, mines built on them. So that's kind of a sins of a solar empire type thing, where you know you have asteroids in a system, you could definitely build a mine on them. Good to know. I feel so silly. All right. So it's the Basius Prime. Let's go ahead and build marine barracks, so it can resist. Uh, invasion, if needed. Alright, so this person is striking. Not sure why. Do we need to... Okay, we need to build a hollow simulator, I guess. On Sebasius Prime. Pollution is pretty crappy on Sebasius Prime right now, so that might be part of the issue. Build a toxic processor as well. 
All right, and a fleet needs orders. You guys upgrade, all of you. Ooh, that's expensive. All right, so upgrades are getting expensive. Good to know. All right, so we're going to move this ship back down there. Excuse me, brethren. Your troop transport is ready. View planet. Okay. So do you have troops on board already? Is that what that is? You have four on board? Yes, you do, because we had nine, but now there are only five. So building the troop transport now enables us to conquer a planet belonging to the Cylons. I'm going to destroy the colony on Vox 2 immediately, and then we're going to move through and maybe take control of Beta 2, maybe destroy the colony on Beta Prime, and see how they respond to that. And then I might go ahead and try and take Patus Prime from them too, because that that would be a, quite a coup to take that from them. All right, so let's let's go ahead and build another troop transport. All right, atmospheric renewer on Tantalus. Uh, sure, Space Elevator on Callisto Prime. Well, no, 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 no. Neutron Collider. Just better production in general. Alright, I think in one more turn we'll be ready to hit the Cylon. The war will begin, and I will hopefully not be in for the fight of my life. Okay, Colonial Revenue Services definitely need the money. Very good. The fleet needs orders. Alright, so this colony ship is ready to go. Now, the question is, where's the tech tree? Research continues as expected, President. All right, so we are not quite ready to travel elsewhere yet to those new locations. Dolza Prime is low gravity. Okay. What about Tantalus? Okay, well, we could... No, oh, Tantalus 2 we already own. Duh. Right, Tantalus 4 is a gas giant. Tantalus Prime. Tantalus Prime, I could ooh normal gravity with gold yeah there's two more potential population centers here yeah i'm gonna go ahead and send this colony ship to tantalus 3 we also need to go ahead and frankly we need to colonize tantalus 2 as well but first let's put this fleet in orbit of vox 2 and see if it makes them nervous <laughs> All right, so we have two cruisers that just arrived. There we go. All right, pretty large fleet. Let's go ahead and just destroy them. Yep. Fox 2 colony has been destroyed. This awesome. This barbarism will hurt us no more than our interests, but it will cost you everything in return. Or will it, is the question. All right, so we have our largest fleet right here ready to meet them with anything they throw at us. So I might keep them there for a bit, just to kind of see what happens. Saul Prime is ready to produce stuff, so tell you what, let's... Let's do a, um, I can't move the window, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build ground batteries. I'm breeding this uh, planetary radiation shield, though. Good to know. We can build this on radiated worlds and improve, um, quality of life there. We definitely have a radiated planet, so for now I'm going to go ahead and build the ground batteries. Alright, on Sealox 3. Atmospheric Renewer, definitely. Fleet needs orders. Yes, this troop transport needs orders specifically. So we're going to fly them to Vox 2. Cylon and the human are now at war. <laughs> Humans, human, whatever you want to call it. 
Looks like they have actually built a military outpost there. So we'll, we're going to have to destroy that thing. And I don't know... I can't quite see what our chances are against it. Hang on, maybe if I fly here. Okay. Can't quite see what my chances are against it. But whatever we... Whatever chances we have, we're going to find out in the next turn. I don't know what it's like to fight against a military outpost. It might not be advisable. So we will see. But we'll do that in the very next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I upload new, episode, new episodes and Pax Humana every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Standard time. That's GMT minus 4 for those of you not in the States. Thank you very much for watching again, and I'll see you next episode.